Train conductor here. I have hit three people. I felt nothing whatsoever as my vehicle flattened them. I fail to see the tragedy. They choose to die, and I escort them to the other side. A lot of guys in this profession have views like you, end up getting scarred over seeing death. It's strange. You'd think they wouldn't go into this line of work if they had a fear of morbidity. How long have you been doing it for? How fast were you going when they happened? Did you splatter them at full speed or run them over coming into a station? Train seems like a weird way to suicide. 15 years, around 90 miles per hour normally, and so far all of them have been hit at near full speed. A train traveling at 100 miles per hour can take over a mile to come to a full stop. I put my brake on. It's company policy, otherwise I'd speed up, but it's futile, especially considering one, these people intend to die, so they're not going to move. And two, a train weighs several thousand tons. All of the ones I've slew so far were out in the countryside. Uh, how do I become a train conductor? It depends on your country and the organizations within it. It's a decent line of work, pays pretty well. The most important thing is that you need to have the right mentality. You must be prepared to stare death in the face which isn't something everyone can do. I view myself as a guardian to the great beyond. Someone has to bring death to those unsuited for living, and that person is me. Well, to be honest, I wanted to join the military, but was rejected for being too mentally unstable. By the sounds of it, being a train conductor is the job for me. You make it sound like your job is extremely dangerous, or like suicides happen daily. But yeah, you should be aware that it does happen. Do you get days off to get over the guilt of killing someone? Seems pretty goat for holiday pay. For me, there is no guilt. But yes, almost all rail companies will typically give drivers pay time off to allow them to recover from psychological trauma. I laugh at the prospect. This is part of the job and should not be considered as unexpected phenomenon. I have always turned down time off on the three occasions. I wouldn't even report the casualties if I didn't have to. It is a good career for those suited to it. I wish you good luck. Well, it isn't dangerous for us, the driver. Incidents which damage the train are very rare. Even more so nowadays because of improved safety and collision systems. When I've terminated people on the track, <laughs> Jesus, I haven't ever feared for the safety of the train or the passengers. The main concern is ensuring that nobody on the train is panicking. As all of my hits have been out in the countryside, as long as the train is determined by onboard indicators to be safe, we continue the journey without stopping. I then have to follow a procedure where I inform HQ about the incident and give details of where it took place, what time, and etc. They will then dispatch the team to its location and it's different if it's near the platform, because there will almost always be witnesses. So. Passengers will know anyway. Ambulances, pretty much always futile, are called, along with trauma counselors and police. When there's a hit in the countryside, only paramedics and police are sent because there are no witnesses to counsel. Otherwise, we don't tell passengers unless they ask. This policy varies between companies. Personally, I would rather we told them. I feel those who have been so close to the realm of death should know of the incident. Anon, I love you. Anyway, since the train normally just keeps going, is there ever issues of blood splatter on the train? I could imagine that being worrying to people who see it as your train flies by them. Yes, it can be an issue, especially in the daytime when it's more visible. It's only ever seen by those standing at the platform. And even then, not always, depending on the color of the train. Blood on a brown train won't be that visible, but if the train is white or blue, then it will be pretty obvious even more so in direct sunlight. Once the journey has finished, the blood splatter has to be looked at to see where the impact was made, along with the trail markings being investigated and etc. I don't work in this area, but I would like to in the future. Once this information has been logged, it is then cleaned off. 
If it has dried, it will be painted over. Personally, I think Train should be painted red from the start, utilizing the blood of the Fallen. I feel as though train driving is an easy job. Am I right, or am I full of shit? Could you kill a whole elephant? Different people's experiences will vary, but once you get used to everything, it is pretty easy. As I said, the main thing you need is the right mentality. And I would probably think I was hallucinating if I saw one. There aren't any in this country. I believe my train would stand victorious. A tactical speed increase should deter the beast. Elephants are huge animals, but a modern train will obliterate anything that stands in its path.